So the last uh, major feature I want to go over is on remote task. Uh, so remote task is you know the uh, more akin to e-bonding. I was saying this is doing task to task integration. Um, within this, you have capabilities for field mapping. Um, you know, my short description is your very short description. Uh, there is a transform framework to say, as I was mentioning, an example, the states are different. Uh, so I'm going to transform the states, or I'm going to, you know, with advanced transforms, do a lookup and enrich it with some information. Uh, so it's a, essentially it's a framework to be able to use to integrate something like incident to incident, or an example here, I have incident to case. Um, remote task can be used to map to any uh, task type. So anything that has been uh, extended from the task table. Uh, and remote task can also be initiated from either side. So in a remote catalog, you know, that was something that was being initiated from the consumer side with remote task that could be from the provider or the consumer. So just as an example, I have an incident, you know, on the consumer side, I can assign it to my provider and now it's going to create a, uh, an incident or a case over on their instance. And, uh, inversely, you know, from a provider, they could assign something to a consumer. You know, this was an example of someone who's doing, you know, help desk, uh, services, but if the issue, the root cause is actually an application, which is, you know, still owned and, and managed by the consumer, then they go ahead and assign it back and it will create a task over on the consumer instance. And this is what the remote task structure uh, looks like. As I said, it can be initiated from either consumer or provider. Uh, the remote task is a, a unique record to ServiceBridge, and this is what's used to essentially move data and then update the parent tasks uh, to the fields that are mapped out. So on a consumer, I have, say, an incident uh, that's over here on the left. I'm going to, when it hits the, what we call the, the trigger condition, it's now going to generate the remote task. Uh, on their instance, it's now going to go ahead and send the uh, create a remote task over on the provider side, and then that's going to create the task type that's defined you know, within a, a remote task definition. A remote task definition is basically a, a combination of all of the, you know, what is the task type, what are the fields that we're sending inbound or receiving, or rather sending outbound, receiving inbound, um, and the mappings. And so now, uh, you know, both on both sides, the consumer and the provider are going to be working within a specific task type, such as like an incident or a case problem, whatever it might be. Uh, so in this situation, the remote task is uh, pretty much purely as a, a path through record. Um, and I don't know why it didn't show up here. This arrow on the left-hand side is bi-directional uh, to the consumer instance. Um, so that goes uh, back and forth uh, between the, the instances. And you define you know, what you want to update within a definition. You know, are you sending all the fields you know back and forth are you sending only some of the fields so with this you have with remote task you have a lot more uh flexibility um with that though now because you as you have additional fields and additional um uh business rules and logic that exist on both the instances this is where i was mentioning that you, you needs to be more process analysis to understand on each side that we are now syncing the process. So if there are requirements that might stop something on the consumer side, those need to be accounted for, you know, within that uh, remote task uh, structure or definition. So the, with remote task, the more that you are syncing, you know, from one side to the other and then more fields, I should say, then the more consideration there needs to be as to how uh, the two instances process are going to interact. All right, so going on to the uh, different features. Um, so we're gonna go over remote catalog components first. So these are some of the uh, sub features that we have you know, to support those. I call the provider task, or proactive provider task, the remote catalog and remote task are the high level uh, three features. And then the rest of these are, uh, are components that support those features. So first one uh, for remote catalog is remote choice. And so remote choice is uh, essentially it's a, a way to deal with reference fields you know, within that remote record producer on the provider instance. So 
yeah, on the provider instance, uh, they have something that you want to say, I want to select, you know, what is the model of a device? Well, the model table is not in the consumer instance. And so to work around having to synchronize this foundational data, there is a real time API lookup, which is you know, what remote choice, how it works to look up that data um, in the provider instance when a consumer goes ahead and clicks on that drop down uh, box. So now the options that they have to select are actually coming over from the provider instance. So when they select this and then submit it, now it comes over as a full object over to the provider side to drive any automation or uh, reference fields. Um, on the consumer side, it will stay as just a, a text value. So they're able to see what they selected. And so this uh, helps in getting around uh, foundational data issues of you know needing to replicate um, all of these different tables to make them selectable over to consumer. Uh, so, you know, it, it's just that it gives direct access, you know, real time through the API to the uh, provider instance, uh, helps with that foundational data uh, synchronization. Uh, additionally, the provider, you know, they control their data and it's not syncing data over to the customer instance in terms of data replication. It's only the, the selection as they're going through. Uh, and then just really helps reduce the cost because now if you want to add an additional field uh, that has some type of reference data, you don't have to worry about synchronizing that data you know, to one or to hundreds or maybe thousands of, uh, of different customers.